TCU, TCU has been waiting kickoff. all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. taken down around the 38 yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the 48. Fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He unloads it, makes the grab, and steps out right away. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. From the 40-yard line, first down. Here's an opening. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. Check four, check four. Watch the curl, watch the curl. Quick strike and he drops it. It's third down and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Pick up. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, five of five on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it first and ten. ten. Here we go! Why did he He takes it right side for a good game. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. six. Second down and six. Ball on the 21. Taken down around the 12 yard line. Call the game of nine Let's yards. Go. First down. Now right, here's the line. Here's the line. Third two. Third two. All right. Let's go, D. Let's go. He's on the run. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They're crowding the line. Let's go! Flags at the eight! Brought down around the one-yard line. And this is the ninth play that of the current drive. Right We've got second and goal. Ball on the nine. to the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. 
That makes it Here's the 11th play of the drive. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11 play, 63 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. That can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7 0. The Horn Frogs are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. No game. That makes it second and ten. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Back five! Back five! Back five! Back five! Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Black five, five, black five, two, three, three, nine. Looks left, intercepted. He has some room to the 10. Touchdown, TCU. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Horned Frogs are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. He heaves it deep. And he holds it in. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Tackle at the 26. Fights forward to about the 23. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Easy, easy. easy. Where? Where? Go! And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. the middle and he's tackled around the four yard line that's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to he did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down and down he goes at about the three yard line He's scrambling. Another lock. Another lock. Another day. What are you doing? It's third down, and they come up to the line about nine yards away from the end zone. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. A 
long way yet to go, but at the end of one, TCU's in front by 14. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Yard Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away. And it is good. Baylor is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. their own 26 yard line it's second down he's going to try and scramble and now he's going to improvise i'm telling you quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop you have to scheme around them which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook quick throw Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 35. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It to the 44. It was still a quality run. I like the fight the offense showed in earning those yards. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Now he's back, but he can't hang on. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Black five. And he's got his man, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. He really got a hold of that one. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. TCU's offense, Curtin, maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays. But right now, it's been running the football, and it's working. Set, check, check. Let's go, hey, Text it. Slings it. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 36. Ready! Black! Three! Tosses out to the tailback on 
the screen. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 42-yard line, third down. Throws it and it's tipped away. Smart play, being ready for the pass and swatting it away. Great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're heading in the right direction. We're about set to start things up again. Scrambling around. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. Hey. Caught open field. And he tackles him hard at the 48 yard line. It's really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one on one coverage. And even when you double team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. Kill, kill, kill! Three. Slam, slam. Go. He's under pressure. He wants it all going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Second and ten. Ball on their own 48. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made at the 45. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into this. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. We've played a half. TCU in front, 14-3. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Bears start down at the half, a game that we anticipated being a tight one, and you're starting to see this team start to look around and look to someone, anyone, to say something, do something to give them a spark. Yeah, and a lot of times that leadership, Reese, comes in different forms, and sometimes there are guys that need to walk over to you and go, hey, guess what? You stunk. You need to do something about it. Sometimes you got to say something that's difficult and realize that people around you need to pick up their play. It's not going well. And a lot of times coaches can't give you the answers. Can't Coaches can't say enough in a locker room. So sometimes it's the quarterback in the huddle. Need to get the guys together and be like, hey, we're going to go down the field. We're going to score. It's the middle linebacker on defense. We're going to stop them. They're trying to do this. We want to do this. So the leadership from the players, sometimes you have to be the ones to step up and not the coaches. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, well, a good game score. We're locked and loaded. we got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. <laughs> Tackle made at the 18. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18. They'll get him for a loss. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Fourth and long here after the sack. Oh, excellent punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He's at the 20, and he's taken down at the 17-yard line. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down at the 8-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. Nice run there. Baylor. 
He makes the PAT. Baylor lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The Horn Frogs fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. It's a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponent to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. That was awful. Come on. You guys can do better than that. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. TCU is up by four. Ready. Black 98. Black 98. Quick throw. Tackle the 37-yard line. That's, That's a gain of seven, seven on the play. play. That makes it first and ten. Let's go! Gains his way to midfield. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. From midfield. First down. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 12. He goes out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Let's go! Oh, 95! 95! Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number two was his intended receiver on the way. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he is drilled at the 15. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and 15. It's second and 15. Ball on the 15 yard line. Mike 36. Mike 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Most Orange ball. three. Second and ball. Flush down, and he's going to get sacked. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Watch 36. 36. Going deep, lays it out there. And down he goes. Right around the 50. Try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 38 yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That brings up 
second, second and 13. 13. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 41. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 39. That brings up third and ten. Kill, kill, kill! Got a three, twenty. Slam, slam. He heaves it deep. Oh, what an interception! And they'll return this one all the way. Another interception by this defense, and their sideline is really fired up. Yeah, they didn't want this quarterback to be able to beat them through the air. And with three interceptions, I would say they are winning that battle right now. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. TCU is up four. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14-10, TCU. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Five wide. Black and five! And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it third and one. Here we go. Oh! It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. first down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. TCU, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. Good pass rush by these guys today. This defense already has four takeaways, but I can see a fifth one if they keep the pressure on. And because of all their problems at the line, this offense is having a difficult time moving the ball. That's one of the effects of not being able to protect the quarterback. He's having to get rid of it in a hurry to a check down to avoid a sack. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and eight. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. TCU holds a four-point lead. They fake the handoff and complete the pass. Good for six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Ready! Flag 98! Flag 98! Hot, hot! Hot, hot! 
to about the 27-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. fourth down and these guys are going to have to punt this one away so this game is really hanging in the balance right now they're stacking the line it looks like they're coming after this punt well if you like defensive football you gotta love this one well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game still the fourth quarter to be played it's anybody's game both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over two minutes in the game. Why not makes the first down catch. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. point and he adds the extra point it was a five play 64 yard drive and the result seven points Brad, i thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync making it very tough for the defense to slow him down the score now 17 14 and they can forget about returning this one the Horned Frogs have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires that quickly, incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. TCU is going to use their first time out of the half here. out to about the 21. Now you're making it very hard for yourself to come back when you make play calls like that. This is not the time to run the football. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's got it with room to run. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 25. Easy, easy, easy. Stay right. Stay right. 
first down. Here we go. Green 95. Green. Oh. Oh. Quick roll. Almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Ready! Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 15-yard line. Jack, Jack, box two, box two. That makes it first and ten. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he's level at the six. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. And he's immediately tackled. Regular, regular, regular. Switch, switch, switch. That, that makes, makes it first and goal. goal. Here we go. Red 60. Jack, Jack. 98 Weasel. That's a great tackle. At the 10 yard line. It's final. A close one to the very end. 17 14. Baylor. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this one really could have gone either way. TCU played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.